performing the duties of his office of Digby C. Caesar. Hey everybody, this is Digby. I want to thank you all for stopping by, and today we're checking out a new game called Call of the Sea. So, I've been looking for a puzzle game to, you know, kind of replace Superliminal, which I had an absolute blast with. Which, it's in itself, was a replacement for Little Nightmares. And as we have a month now, a little, well, yeah, a little over a month, before we can have Little Nightmares 2, I figured I'd try and find something new, and this is basically the one that caught my eye. So the plot of this one, it's um, set in the 1930s in the South Pacific. You're basically a woman looking to find her husband, who came here leading an expedition and disappeared. And along the way, we should have mysteries and puzzles and hopefully a really good story, but, well, let's go find out. Okay, we are underwater. Um, well, kind of a bright light. I hope breathing is nothing in this or we're screwed, because I don't see a way up. Oh, we got a weird fish god statue thing. Where am I? Good question, darling. Well, we will carry on and see what's in here. We'll say one thing. I mean, it's only been a couple. Of... Hello. Hang on a second. Is that a clock? I've been here before. Have you now? Oh, there's a door. Just sitting there. What time is it? It is 5:30. Okay. Wait a minute. Is that upside down? Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Take it back, it's 8.15, the clock's sideways. <laughs> we got a table. I'm gonna go out on a limb and guess we're dreaming. I've been here my entire life. Okay, I can't... I'm trapped in here. Chessboard. Okay, can't shift to go up or anything else. Just basically, let's just go forwards. Okay. Got a lantern. I'm going upstairs, apparently. These stairs. I'm climbing these stairs again. That doesn't look like a way out. I need to get out. The voices are calling me. I'm chill. Empty picture frames. Uh oh. Okay. My old music box. It's broken. I have to fix my old music box. I I have to get it. I have to. Ah. Those horrible dreams again. I've had them repeatedly ever since my mother died and left me that music box and her will. Harry always said that old family heirloom had something to do with my family's strange disease. Hmm. If the doctors won't give us an answer about your illness, I'll search for one myself, you said. And in that search, it seems you lost yourself. I don't think I'd ever... Pardon me, madam, but the island is in sight. We'll be lowering the boat in just a minute. Oh, uh, thank you so much, Captain Hodgson. I'll be right out. All right. Time to gather my things. Okay, we're on a ship, I take it. Yes. Are we on that ship? I don't know. Oh, that's kind of cool. Okay, when I was a kid... Um, my grandfather was a meteorologist, and he had a barometer in the house, and that looks like a barometer to me, and if I, if it is, then, yeah, it looks like it's a pretty nice day outside. Although, to be fair, we could have told that probably just looking out the window. So, get stuff. Uh, it's a little bit before seven. Is there anything we can grab? Oh, that looks like something we can look Captain at. Captain Hodgson has a very particular taste when it comes to decor. Oh, it's a boat. He's, he's a nautical dude. Oh. Hmm... 
I think I've overpacked. Yes, yes, you did. Anything in here we can mess with? I like the looks of the harpoon. Oh, a couple things on the desk. We'll check over here first. That's kind of cool. Not exactly a clawfoot tub, but you can't always get what you want. Do we see Snape's memories if we stick our face in it? We didn't use the closets. Okay, this is a overwhelmingly barometric room. Merveille de Mer du Sud. Marvels of the Southern Seas, I think. I'll take your word for it, darling. You got a better grip on uh, whatever. I believe that's French. You got a better grip on it than I do. She's a bit splotchy, isn't she? Ah, the amazing adventures of Nora Everhart. Art teacher. Okay, so we have a tab. We can open the journal. Carries things from my journey. Nora, remember this. This must be our house. These are our notes. We have anything in the log. Um, Alright, we're in Tahiti. Four miles east. I'm skimming. You can pause the video and read this if you like. English sailor Captain Hodgson. Oh, we're on the Lady Sharon, apparently. Uh, Captain Superstitious. In November, we got him to drop us on the island. Okay, well, that would be it. Good to know. Left, right, change the page. Right. Eh, down up's fine. We can figure it out anyway. Do we need our gloves to cover our splotchy hands? Oh, I'd better cover up my hands before I leave the cabin. I wouldn't want anyone thinking I'm a circus freak. Okay, I'm kind of wondering what her face there looks like a now. Mysterious package at my house. I stored all its contents in my locked suitcase. Okay, rotate. Yes, zoom. Oh, that's kind of cool. We apparently live in Englewood. So, is this the stuff that got delivered to the house? Oh my, I have the worst memory. I forgot the combination again. Thank goodness I always bring my journal with me to write things down. I had a feeling it was going to be in there somewhere. So, are we in the notes section? Oh, 506. There we go. Oops, wrong button. I wanted the tab button. Okay, hang on a second. How the hell am I meant to do this now? Oh, there we go. So five, oh six. Ba-dunk. All right, now it's open. Perfect. All right, there's the hubster. I'm Harry assuming. Everhart, my husband, my partner, and my dear old pal. And if he doesn't learn how to handle a gun properly, not the father of your children. <laughs> I'm just saying. Uh, oh, this is kind of cool. What is this? This strange and sharp relic came in the package I received at home. What the hell is that, I wonder? Oh, I'll take it with me. I saw this island in one of my unsettling dreams. I drew it as soon as I woke up. Hmm. Do we... Take him with us? Wait a minute, what do you mean play? A just... brass key with a letter ah. CW engraved on it. And some enigmatic instructions. 74 miles east of Tahiti. Okay. I take it with me? How do I take it with me? Ah, just like that. Does that mean I can take this with me as well? We're all set, madam. The motorboat is ready. Hmm. Do I need... Oh. What was I thinking when I brought all these dresses on this trip? Good question, darling. All right, when well, he said the boat's ready, I'm going to hope the luggage comes with us. Okay, Nora. From here on out, you're on your own. Lower the motorboat. Be careful with Mrs. Everhart's equipment, lad. We'll be back to pick you up in three days. I really hope you find your husband there, madam. I hope it too. I'll see you in three days then. But please be careful on that island. You know what the legends say about it. I'll take care. Thank you, Captain Hudson. Okay. Oh, they let me have the motorboat? That was sweet of them. Well... 
Here I am, in the middle of the ocean after traveling across half the world. Just miles away from where my husband is supposed to be. You left a year ago to search for a cure for my affliction. Your letters kept me close to you, but suddenly they stopped coming. What happened, Opal? What did you find? Whatever it was, it led you to hire a crew and set sail from San Francisco to Tahiti. And from there, to this place. An island in the middle of the Pacific that the locals refuse to even name. Everything is familiar. So familiar. As impossible as that may sound. Is this the island I dreamed about? Certainly looks like it. This, this can't be a coincidence. Okay, that's pretty cool. It's graphically beautiful, I'll say that. Jesus Christ. This is gorgeous. Okay, that actually looks a bit like the relic thing we have if, you know, prior to it getting broken. So I'll have to check that out. As soon as we stop. Yeah, I would say we're definitely... Oh, that's cool. It's right over the waterfalls. And it even goes down inside the little cave in the cliff there. Idyllic island, surrounded by deadly reefs and protected with stakes to keep anybody from entering. Why? Well, somebody's been here before us. That's a good sign. There's definitely something strange about this place. What is all this stuff on the beach, I wonder? Well, let's get put ashore here and see what we think. Seashells, maybe? Yeah, they look like seashells, actually. Alright, we're here. Oops. Did I bring my luggage with me? I'll leave my things in the boat until I find somewhere to camp. Can we tow the boat out to shore? I know it's just resonance, but... Oops. I was playing with that. Apparently I wasn't. Oh, I see stuff over here. Let's go see what this is. Can I pick you up as well? I want to know if that's a cave behind that waterfall. Can I go for a swim? No, Mother doesn't want to go for a swim. Okay. I'm going to path out that way. I definitely path over there. And that, whatever the hell it is, is in the inside. You know? So somebody was on this island recently. Well, that's a Vivo. A flute that... Oops. No, oh, I apologize. We're not going to get the description of it because I pushed the wrong button. A miniature va'a. A Polynesian outrigger canoe. Beautifully crafted, too. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Nothing we apparently need to take with us. And yes, I saw the note. We'll go look at that in a minute. Can I have the machete, please? Because that looks like it would be handy. A note written in French. I only understand two words. Il and mort. Island and death. Uh, let's see if we can make any kind of heads or tails of this. Mm. It nope. must be a warning about the dangers of the island. My high school French couldn't keep up with that. This machete is completely worn down. The blade is dull. I'll still take it, thanks. This machete is completely mm, worn down. Apparently I won't. Oh, whoop, sorry, that's what we were going to do. I was going to look at the... Relic. It should be in here somewhere, right? Nope, that's the key. Do I have an inventory? Oh, you know what? Yes, it's probably in my luggage over there in the boat. This looks like I it might... feel quite good. I dare say I might even walk a little faster than usual. Oh, okay. We're going in there in a second. I just want to kind of get the feel of where we're at here, so... Can we get back like here? From the other side. That would be a big fat no. I'm gonna go look in the hole. See if there's anything important in here. And then we'll go down. Oh, what is that? We have to go around here to get up to that.
These wooden figures are called Unu. This seems to be telling a story. Can I jump off? No. Okay, so we're going to be fairly limited in what we can explore. Or at least we have to stay on the path. Alright, let's look in the hole and then we'll go for an exploration. Are you guys anything important? Uh, you got teeth. Oh, maybe this goes out behind the waterfall. Nope. Can I climb? Those markings seem to represent the sea. I'll make a note of them in my journal. It might come in handy. I take it we don't go up anywhere. We just kind of poke around a little bit. Okay. Well, let's hit the path. See where the road goes. Do we have a day-night cycle, or am I going to be allowed to just do what I want for a while? How did I not notice those this whole time? Uh, yep, this is going to be brilliant, because I'm hyper-observant mode today, apparently. Yeah, I have one of those wooden doodah things over here. Anything else up on this platform? fish hook. Let me take it. Hmm. Well, how about this basket or rock with a thing wrapped around it? Apparently not an important thing. They do love fish with teeth who have made this stuff. but clearly somebody wants to keep outsiders off this island. Let's see what's back here. That's... Uh, boats. Can't really tell what the story's meant to be, but... Aha! A lantern. Always handy. And a knife. Love a good knife. A carving tool. Oh, take the knife, please. Okay, I think I figured out where the key goes. Don't get to keep the lantern. C W. Those are the initials on the brass key. It opens it. So whoever sent me this key was here. Okay, rock with flowers. Rock with flowers. Not this a terrible. It's starting to look like a scavenger hunt. I was trying to look at the back of that actually. Nothing written on the back. So we got stone floor, rock with flowers, and whatever that is. Do we get to keep it? No? Okay. Well, let's work out how to get through the gate. From what I've read, the Polynesians don't need doors. So Aha. why build such a big one? Well, that did something. That tripped counterweight. So, okay, that makes sense suddenly what that thing is. Hmm. Something's missing here. And then that will trip the other counterweight and we can get in. Oh, I didn't see that either. Nora, come this way. Now, it was a rock. A rock. Uh, maybe the beach. It's under something? I don't know, I'm at a bit of a loss. Well, we did see back here there was kind of a rock with flowers thing. There. An offering of Mother of Pearl. Quite valuable for the Polynesians. This is the stone place, so there's the stone floor. So if that's the rock with the flowers, that's the other rock with the flowers. Somewhere around here should be the thing we're looking for. Look around the rocks. Hmm. Oh, let's go back and look at that picture again. See if maybe make this make sense. OK. 
Okay, that's the one with the mother of pearl things. Don't know what that is. Or maybe that's the one. And that's the other one. We got two ro Oh, it's okay, so there's got to be one stone on there that comes up, maybe? I'm just guessing, but it seems logical. So if there's the two rocks. Well, let's poke around and see if we find a stone that comes up. Either in the front or the back one would think. Makes it look like it was this way. Which puts it out here. I do not know. Okay, well, I'm going to poke around for a few minutes to see if I can find it, and then we'll be back. Well, maybe we missed the rock with uh, something on it. I'm pretty positive. We're definitely looking for a stone platform here, so... got to be one of these three. I assume. Unless there's another one over here somewhere. Aha, okay. Yep, we found the place we're looking for. Now, big ring of flowers, little ring of flowers. Should be. Ah, I think I saw an eyeball. Right there. Perfect. Well, look what's hidden here. I'll take you, thank you. I didn't even see that stone platform place. Ah, luckily, that only took me a minute or two, so that wasn't so bad. And open sesame. It works. Yay. So, alright, well, I tell you what, I'm going to leave it here. I know it's well, under a half an hour, but... Oh, that's <laughs> it. Nope. Never mind, we already done that. Yep, I'm going to leave it here. And I'm actually, you know, just kind of first impressions. I'm really digging this. It's got a really nice vibe. The music's really cool. Um, the graphics are absolutely gorgeous. It's incredibly atmospheric, and the lighting is spectacular. So yeah, I'm looking forward to playing more of this. All right, well, anyways, I have been Digby. I thank you all for stopping by. I hope you like and call of the sea, and I hope to see you for the next one.